it's Stephanie from the American Wildling Society. And this week, during episode number two of the Art to Art project, I'm going to be showing you what I'm up to on the base of our Statue of Liberty sculpture. So it's been fun coming up with all the dimensions and trying to figure out what this thing is actually going to look like in the end. Once I figured out how big I wanted the base, I knew I wanted to do about three foot by three foot and all the, the actual edges of it, I did do a bevel on them. That way I could get some solid penetration when doing these joints because I knew I was going to be sanding them down. You know, if I would have just butted these corners all together and, and welded on it, I would have been worried about cracking and stuff like that from sanding it down. Basically, I started out with a flapper disc, 80 grit flapper, then went to a 120, then back to an 80 uh, grit orbital sander, cleaned up all the corners, then to 120, uh, 240 um, on the buffer. Um, I left the orbital sander because it just didn't have enough power. Um, went to the buffer and started putting the sanding discs on there. Um, started with 240 on that, and then worked all the way up to 3000 grit. Um, this has been one coat of polish. Wasn't happy with the RPM rate that I was polishing this at. Um, so now the next coat of polish that this thing is gonna get is gonna be low and slow. So I actually had no cracking anywhere, um, you know, as I was welding it. So I'm pretty happy. For the copper, once I'm ready to do that, um, I got some three inch uh, sanding discs that I'm gonna be sanding this down to. And I'll probably, again, take this down to about 3000. Um, grit before polishing. Plus, there's no welds on this, um, so this copper is just going to be, you know, quick, easy peasy. And then have some really cool industry scenes that I'm going to engrave onto it. A refinery to kind of represent the boilermakers and pipe fitters and the nuclear welders out there. A bridge scene for all those bridge workers and stick a train in there and maybe a car, some cars for the transportation and bridge industry. I also am going to do a really cool cityscape across the front. I think it's important to highlight all the people in a lot of those trades unions who help uh, build all of our cities across the country. Unfortunately, this took a ton of time, way longer than I could ever imagine. Up a day and a half just to weld this out, and then the polishing has been another day, day and a half. So in total, I've been working on this now for about a week. Not happy with the finish just yet. This is going to have a full mirror finish by the time it's done. It seemed like every grit I went up to, I had to go back down a couple of grits because I was finding scratches and things that I didn't like. But I think in the end, um, it's gonna be well worth all the effort and extra effort that I put into it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I've got done so far. Next video is gonna be Barbie showing you what she's doing. I'll see you guys next time, bye.